So let's do a little more dangerous version of the command execution other than who am I. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, it does help malicious users to know who you are, who the system is, but uh, let's let's go ahead and uh, execute some commands. So we go here in our utility day app, we go to command injection, let's go to DNS lookup. So as you can see here, it's a, it's a really simple tool that allows us to look up a DNS. So let's say we want to look up the DNS for google.com, for example. Uh, we type that in, it'll look up the DNS, it'll tell us who it is. Now this looks eerily similar to, to our NSLib command on our shell. So we could do the exact same thing. Let's uh, do this. And let's do NSLookup. And www.google.com and it looks almost the same right the output so that tells me that this is probably running on a Linux web server um, which we could exploit so let's go and type in the legitimate command but then we, we use our semicolon to split the commands and we do ls, let's say we want to see what exactly lives on the web server. So we'll do ls, um, and we look at the DNS, and as you can see here, we can see all these files that, that are running. Um, now if you want to see one of these files, that, that's a big no-no, that's quite dangerous. But if you wanted to see one of these files, let's, let's go ahead and um, run our command, www.google.com, and then we're going to cat Let's say we want to see the browser info, uh, which lives on there, .php. We have that in here, so we can look up the, the information, and it'll pop it right up for us here. Uh, so, yeah, this is how you can execute remote commands from your browser on a vulnerable web app. And, you know, if you have this vulnerability, you might... You definitely want to patch it because you don't want people executing your, you know, commands on, on your Linux server and bringing your system down or seeing data, data that you don't want them to see, things like that.